Hello, welcome to this DCS KA50 Black Shark tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about your autopilots. So your autopilot controls are down here in the corner. We have bank hold, pitch hold, altitude hold, heading hold, and the flight director. We additionally have a hover hold uh, bound as well in the hover on off key bind. These autopilots are actually not just an autopilot, but also your flight control system to maintain stability. When you're learning, I would recommend always having bank and pitch on, and also leave the flight director autopilot enabled. I strongly recommend always having heading hold disabled. I'll talk about a few situations in later videos where you may want it enabled, but for the most part we'll leave that turned off. The autopilot system in the KA-50 works in a percentage based system. So I'm going to go ahead and trim out my aircraft, release my stick, and the autopilot will set itself based on how we trim our aircraft. So I just trim like this, and our bank and our pitch hold are what is going to maintain us based on how we trim ourselves. The flight director, disabling it, makes the aircraft rigidly apply, adhere to whatever we apply with our trim. So if I try and move the aircraft with flight director turned off, I am fighting the aircraft something awful, and when I let go, it's going to try and bring us back to exactly how we were. I cannot stress this enough, do not fight the aircraft, or you will have an extremely bad time flying this. In order to allow us some more control, we enable the flight director autopilot. This allows us to deviate from our set trim autopilots by about 20-25%, and that will allow much easier control of the aircraft without completely disabling our stability system. If we turn off everything, we are now flying completely by hand with no stability assist or assist from the aircraft. I strongly recommend that you do not fly this way as you're learning. Wait until you get a bit more confident and experienced with the flight controls. And just leave auto uh, bank and pitch enabled and also the flight director. to the altitude hold button. It is exactly as it sounds. When we set it, it will try to maintain whatever altitude we are at. So I'm going to trim myself and enable the altitude hold. Doing that, we can see that the aircraft is trying to maintain a zero on our climb or descent indicator. Because it is a percentage-based system, we have probably about Oh, five or six percent worth of leeway. So if I increase my collective, nothing's going to happen. You can see I'm slightly moving it because it can compensate. But if I increase it too much, we're going to override it and it will no longer apply even though it's turned on. If I bring it back within five or six percent of where it needs to be to in maintain our altitude, the system will be able to correct once again. Turn that off. Now let's talk about our hover hold. First thing we need to do is get ourselves into a nice hover. So I'll do that here. Just making sure your needle does not go below the five on descent trim myself. That's good enough. Now I'm going to turn off flight director and hit my hover on off keybind. You will see altitude hold turns on. 
my hand is completely off my stick and our hover hold indicator has lit up. I will be maintaining control of my rudders. The aircraft will do a small little dance and then hold itself rock solid in the air. If we wish to change our altitude while we are in hover hold, there are other ways to do this, but I find this the easiest. I will simply turn off my altitude autopilot, use my collective to gain or lose altitude as I see fit. Once I'm at my desired altitude, I'll make sure I'm close to the zero and turn on altitude hold. Then the aircraft will hold us there. If I wanna go down, turn off altitude hold, decrease, make sure I don't go below the five. Get myself close to zero, enable altitude hold. Because of that five or 6% system, if I'm within a probably about three ticks, two ticks of the zero, the plane will be able to compensate. And now I'm held here. When you are done hovering, just hit your hover mode off, turn flight director back on, and if you choose, you can turn off altitude hold, and then you're back to flying. That covers all of your autopilots and how they function. We'll talk about the heading hold specifically in later videos, but once again, I cannot stress enough, keep it turned off, keep flight director turned on, and utilize your pitch and bank altitudes for your stability assist as you're flying based on your trim. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.